you all know my views on Zwift racing. Uh, anyone who's watched the channel knows that I think it's a complete joke, especially when you get amateurs using it because there's no way of checking their power. Now, we're going to do a very quick video on how to cheat. This is the first episode. If you want to do more episodes, let me know. And also, you can see my bike. If you want me to do a review on that, also let me know. Uh, so first, first of all, this is a nice bicycle and you need to wake up your power meter. So this is the 4i power meter. We have now woken it up by spinning the cranks. Step two, go on to the 4i app on your telephone. It opens and then says you need to turn on the old Bluetooth. Bluetooth is then turned on. It's a very simple instruction this, very easy to do. So then your power meter pops up. Oh, here it is. Click through, waits a little bit. Then you go on precision settings, then go scale factor. And you can change it to whatever you want. So if I want to go up to 150% of my FTP or 130% of the power, then that's what it's going to do. So let's say, you yeah. know, when I was actually at a bit of gas, 20 minutes, 350 for me. So let's say uh, that's my 20 minute power. Let's say I want to make it my FTP. Just type in 1.05 and you're away. And suddenly, you know, you're doing a Zwift race and suddenly you can do 350 watts for an hour, which is for me, 5.7 watts per kilo for an hour. I haven't changed my weight. Nope. Power looks perfect. Heart rate looks perfect. No way of ever telling. And yet people tell me that Zwift racing, the reason the pros don't win is just because they're not that good. It's because they don't train right. Obviously, the real reason that a lot of the time pros don't win is because people are cheating. This is one way to cheat. It's a very easy way of doing it. Obviously, if you have a four eye power meter, this works. I haven't checked stages. Um, I don't have a stages on me, so I won't be able to check. Um, but, you know, it's a pretty easy way of doing it. Um, but there's other ways of doing it. We could talk about trainer calibration. That's very easy to do. We can also even talk about just calibration of the power meter. Obviously, you know, changing where it is in terms of temperature, even pedals. So, you, you know, you take the pedal off, you calibrate, then you do it up. You know, these can all change it. If you know the right protocol, you can you can cheat the numbers very easily. And we haven't even talked about weight doping, which obviously is the easiest. You just put in a weight that's two kilos less, you know, at the higher end, you know, two kilos is the difference between a good amateur and a world tour pro sometimes, like maybe two, three kilos with, it, like it can be really, you know, quite, quite significant the differences. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you want me to do more videos like this about Zwift cheating, um, I can. I once said I could do a two hour video. I reckon I could. There's so many ways. It's unbelievable. Um, so I just, the reason I'm making this, obviously people are going to cheat. I don't care. But it's just to make it realize that Zwift racing is completely useless unless you have everyone on the same Trevo trainer calibrated. They are thinking of doing the weigh-ins where you have to, like, show your weight. I'm not showing no one my weight. That's private information. But, like, you know, they could do that. I could say, you know, let's say I pretend I'm 57, but actually I'm, like, 63 or something. Um... I, uh, you still do this, it's easy. Um, it's just so, so easy um, to cheat on this on this platform. And uh, that's why I think Zwift Pro Racing, it's like, or Zwift Racing with amateurs just, just doesn't interest me at all. It's like, wow, some blokes beating David Gaudu up out to Zwift, yeah. Like, he gets spat about 1K into Romandy, yet Gaudu comes third. But anyway, enough rambling for today, um, and I'll see you in the next one.